Hey internet, it's me Udoka. Um, I am recording on YouTube Capture, which is a little annoying because if somebody calls me, it the whole thing ends. It pisses me off. So I'm basically starting over, but I'm in San Antonio. I'm at the Grand Hyatt and I wanted to share a deepening of an insight that I received today. So this is my planner for 2020. It is the cutest Hobonichi. Oh my god. Kawaii. I love Japanese stationery stuff. And in my Hobonichi, there is a page that's a year at a glance. And currently, I'm using this year at a glance to track my income. Like, you see, every, every day that I make money, I track how much money I made. What I'm going to add to this is tr tracking my strengths. Every day somebody compliments me on something... Like something that I didn't know before. I'm going to track it. Like yesterday, people complimented me on slayage. <laughs> they said that I slay. Like I come in looking good. Which is something that I had been insecure about my entire life. Because ever since I was a little girl, my mom would always be like, Oh my gosh, you can't dress. Oh my God, like what is going on with your hair? What is going on with your makeup? Like even up to... Up to like age 29, up till I when at tw like up until recently, my mom was always like, You look like sh well, she wouldn't say that, but that's what she meant. She's like, You look like sh I buy you clothes, I buy you makeup, I buy you wigs, and you look like sh <laughs> and so that actually means a lot to me when people say, Well, you look good, that means a lot to me. So, I'm gonna add that to here. And another strength I'm going to add is uh, people said I'm very commanding. I can command a room. So this morning, we had the honor and privilege of speaking to the organization that we're a part of. Um, over 500 people there. And I am petty to the max. I love competition. And I love... I don't love conflict, but is kind of my love language. Like if you're not fighting with me or competing with me on something, it makes me feel like you don't love me. You don't care about me. Is that as messed up? Maybe like, do I need counseling for that? I don't know. Um, definitely it's because of how I was raised by African parents. Definitely. But it is what it is. And, um, at this convention, there was something said and some things not said that just really irked me, just really peeved me. And how you compete professionally is you have to actually get results, right? Like Muhammad Ali didn't just say, I'm gonna run this, I'm gonna run this boxing game. Muhammad Ali, um, actually ran the boxing game like he actually beat people so you have to win with your results so it i was so dead serious about making sure that by the time i get on stage to talk i can say okay excuse me stand up if you have as many results as we do oh nobody basically sit down and shut your ass up we're talking <laughs> that's kind of me but also providing value because i was we were me and my fiance we were asked to speak on a certain topic and I'm getting ready to go because I got to go. But but I didn't realize I have that strength. Like people that pour into you, people that let you know, listen, this is your strength. This is what happened. Nobody could take their eyes off of you. That's something I didn't know about myself before. So I'm keeping track of my strengths because you have to, you have to, you have to perfect your strengths. Don't worry about your weaknesses. Get competent in your weaknesses. Develop your weaknesses. But don't worry about perfecting your weaknesses. Just get good enough and perfect your strength first. That's how Kobe Bryant becomes Mamba. Because he doesn't focus on weaknesses and rely on his talent for everything else. He perfected what he was naturally gifted at. And then he started perfecting what he wasn't gifted at. 
you can't compete. You can't compete with somebody that is so good at what they're naturally good at. They're so good at it. And then now they have time to start perfecting what they weren't good at. You can't compete with that. And it's actually biblical. That's how you're supposed to develop yourself. So I just wanted to share that insight. Keep track of what people compliment you on. Keep track of it and keep improving in that area that people say you're good at. At the same time that you're developing yourself and your weaknesses, you're going to have an amazing year. All right. I got to go before I'm late. Yes. Okay. So until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.